Okay, so throughout the Boruto franchise, we've seen Boruto learn and utilize several different variations of the Rasengan, similar to his father, but many of the ones that he uses are entirely different and have their own unique set of abilities and characteristics. So today we're going to be breaking down and explaining all of Boruto's Rasengans up until Two Blue Vortex. But before we do that, if you guys like more videos like this, do me a huge favor and drop a like, comment, sub, as well as checking out our channel hoodies if you want to support the channel, and join the Discord server if you want to engage with me or the community, and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so the Rasengan on its own is an A-Rang Jutsu that was developed by Minato Namikaze in the fourth Hokage over the span of three years, which is illustrated in the manga The World Within the Spiral, which came out in July 16, 2023. It's essentially a spiraling ball of chakra, which is inspired by the Bijou Dama when Minato and Jiraiya's Team 6 encountered the four and the fifth tail Jinjurikis. It's an insanely powerful chakra sphere, which requires a certain level of skill to utilize, and it's made from kneading chakra in a rotational fashion and is taught in three main steps. The first step is rotation, where the user tries to turn their chakra within a water balloon and try to pop it and in this case it helps the user learn what direction their chakra naturally spins it's usually based on the whirl of the hair so in naruto's case he's a clockwise type dry is also a clockwise type whereas minato has two whirls in his hair so he needs to need chakra in two directions at once the second step is utilizing a rubber ball which helps increase the density and the volume of the chakra they can output this is a hundred times stiffer than a water balloon and requires a greater level of control once they get this they move on to the third step which is containment the user user gets the water balloon again to help visualize the shape, but this time you must keep it within the balloon and if it moves at all you fail. To aid in this, Naruto and Konohamaru initially utilized shadow clones to help them work on it, although it wasn't really needed later on. Boruto also went through a similar process, but accidentally took it a step above and added a chakra nature to his Rasengan, which Naruto endured specific training to be able to do. And even advanced geniuses such as Kakashi and Minato were unable to add chakra nature to their own Rasengans. As described by Kakashi, this required an incredible amount of skill to combine the elemental and spatial recomposition together, and that brings us to the Vanishing Rasengan. The Vanishing Rasengan is Boruto's default Rasengan, so to speak, that he initially learned, which was pretty small and relatively unimpressive in size, but was able to be thrown like a projectile, and seems to turn invisible, giving it the name, the Vanishing Rasengan. Boruto's innate chakra nature is lightning, and gives us this result which is immensely useful, and is able to catch even Otsuki level threats off guard, such as when he took Momoshiki off guard, and even Sasuke under the possession of Momoshiki. Naruto was able to do this as well at an older age with vast specific training to create his own Rasen Shuriken where he added his wind chakra nature to his Rasengan which only goes to show how much of a genius the franchise wants us to see that Boruto is where they constantly keep reiterating the fact that he's a genius Kakashi does this Sasuke does this etc the next Rasengan on the list is the massive father and son Rasengan utilized with the help of his father this is something that Naruto required shadow clones to do when he was younger but by the time he becomes Okage he can do this with just one hand and can pass it on to Boruto. This was reinforced with Naruto's own chakra and is the moment where Boruto realized the immense amount of power that his father possessed and where he gained a new respect and appreciation for the Rasengan, seeing what it's capable of in the future. This was the Rasengan that was the one that ultimately defeated Momoshiki. Next on the list is Boruto's own wind style Rasengan. In episode 168, Boruto's training with Kakashi and trying to master a new Rasengan technique in which he learns to add wind chakra nature to his Rasengan. It has a uniquely green appearance and has a ring similar to Naruto's Rasen Shuriken as it can be thrown and utilizes the wind chakra nature as well, but is lacking in destructive output and is only able to damage the corner of a boulder. It seems to be much closer to an incomplete Rasen Shuriken that Naruto utilized against Akashi in the Rasengan Clash in episode 81, and there Naruto was seemingly able to create a smaller incomplete Rasen Shuriken as well, but a large differentiating factor between that one and the completed one is that the finished Rasen Shuriken has the ability to use wind chakra manipulation to turn the edge into blades that can do damage on a cellular level, it has a destructive output and a larger appearance as well, which shows his mastery of chakra manipulation and shape, whereas Boruto was completely burnt out after a single attempt. Not too long after, in episode 71 of the Boruto anime, Boruto utilizes a new variation of the Rasengan known as the High Compression Rasengan. Instead of making the Rasengan larger to output more power, he actually takes a different approach and compresses the Rasengan to a smaller size to output more damage per unit of area and can seemingly pass through opponents' defenses more easily than a regular Rasengan. Naruto, Konohamaru, and others who can utilize the Rasengan should in theory be able to utilize this one as well, but it would be largely redundant since they already contain enough chakra within their own bodies to output a giant or massive Rasengan, which would be just as effective if not much more effective and not inflict any damage to the user as well. There's another variation of this called the Super High Compression Rasengan, which is seen in episode 175 against Deepa, where Boruto utilizes the same Rasengan, but he gets his chakra reinforced with Senjutsu Chakra from Mitsuki and Sarada's Chakra as well 
well, which gives us the super high compression Rasengan. In essence, it's the same but to a larger scale, and Boruto also points out before utilizing this that he doesn't care if he loses his arm or not, which implies that there's a greater level of strain while utilizing the high compression Rasengan, which again could contribute to the reason why we never see any other people opt to use it as well. This brings us to the Rasengan. In chapter 65 of the Boruto manga, when Momoshiki takes possession of Boruto's body, he utilizes a principle similar to the compression Rasengan, where he compresses and creates a tiny Rasengan projectile which is shot similarly to a bullet, which is evidenced by the fact that the name Dan translates to bullet in English. Unlike most Rasengans, this is a piercing attack that's used against Code, who's trying to escape Boroshiki with Kawaki but promptly failed. Now there is another very important Rasengan that we've seen recently, but before we get into the last few, I want to say a couple of honorable mentions. These are Rasengans that were seen in the anime, but there's not really a whole lot to go over with them. The first is the Unison Rasengan, which is utilized by Boruto and Kawaki in episode 206. And the second is Boroshiki's own massive Rasengan, which we do see a couple of times throughout the franchise, first against Boro and more recently against Sage Mode Naruto. The final Rasengan is another Rasengan that's unique to Boruto that no other user has been previously able to utilize or anything even close, and that's the Uzuhiko Rasengan. Introduced in Boruto 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 2, it's a Rasengan that seems to cause the user to be enveloped by a cloud-like aura and once they come into contact with an opponent, they can forcibly infuse rotating chakra into their opponent, which basically takes advantage of the planet's rotating chakra, as pointed out by Boruto and Daemon. It causes semi-perpetual damage similarly to the Amaterasu, as well as cause a perpetual imbalance, which continues as long as the earth keeps spinning. Even if the opponent leaves the planet in which the Rasengan was utilized, the Uzuhiko Rasengan continues to take effect, as evidenced by when Code left to the Otsutsuki dimension, and it was still enacted upon him, but it can be rescinded by the user who cast it. Anyways, that's pretty much all of Boruto's current Rasengans explained. I know that there was a bunch that were showcased, so I hope that this helped clear the air as to which ones they are and what they do, etc. If you guys want me to cover any other similar topics, let me know down below, as well as checking out our channel hoodies, joining our Discord server, and I'll catch you in the next one.